right, we're checking out the only game where you can destroy all of existence with the power of science. It's Tasty Blue. See this shark right here? 24 micrometers in size. His job right now is to eat gelatinous popcorn and not get murdered by everything else in nature. This game really shows me that aliens and like dinosaurs do exist in the planet because a lot of people are like, oh, aliens, that can't be real. Oh, really? Hold on. Let me, let me show you something. What is that? What is that right there? That right there is science. It is a hypersized piece of science, but it looks completely freakish. This is the ocean if the ocean was out of a Stephen King movie. Like, sure, there, there may be little see-through cookies, and angry rice moving around. But there's also those things, whatever that thing over there was. Now, the idea is, is you keep eating, obviously, and you gain size to the point where, yes, you finally get to eat all of existence, which I'm very happy to do. I don't like to stop at buildings with sharks. I really want to be able to eat, you know, the crust of the earth and then the core. If I'm allowed to also eat neighboring solar systems, that would be great as well. All right, where's that thing at? You are just straight out of the mist, aren't you? What are you? You look like you're gonna stab me in my stomach when I eat you, zooplankton. So this is an upgrade. Oh, then look at this. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, you see that right there? That's what I, ow. That's what I'm talking about. What is that? It looks like a prehistoric Roomba, okay? That is not a natural being that should exist in life. But because we're on an almost molecular scale, we get to see just how ugly things that we can't normally see are. I really hope that these little creatures that I'm eating here, which sort of look like, I don't even know, like earwigs or something. I hope that they're not super valuable to the ecosystem because there's not gonna be any left. Well, to be fair, there's not gonna be anything left when I'm done. So whether or not the ecosystem can recover when I'm done doesn't really matter because there will be no ecosystem. There will be no system, like at all. I'm hoping that there's no solar system, to be honest with you. All right, you jello-filled horseshoe crabs. I can't wait to eat these things. Oh, here we go, what are you? Oh, you're just a larger zooplankton. You're a zooplankton that's been not skipping leg day. Or like, Chitinous shell day. <laughs> you know what they say about sharks. If it fits inside the mouth, it counts. There we go. So we're still only being measured in micrometers, but if I know games like this, I'm sure things will get out of hand soon enough and we'll be, you know, eating living humans. And I'm sure that the zooplankton is living as well, but you know, it doesn't. Okay, look, uh, again, that right there is out of StarCraft. Right there. That is a Zerg. That is, that is a, that is a creature from Star Trek. So yeah, if we as human beings were all just like one millionth our normal size, we would see things like that on a daily basis. And I think were we to get invaded by aliens, it would be just much less impressive because the things that we see every day are that hideous. I'm pretty sure these are from War of the Worlds. Like, ow! Like, I don't want to get too close because it feels like they're gonna absorb my skeletal structure or something. Also, I love how when the shark gets injured it sounds like just like a guy huh? like some dude named Tony it doesn't I don't know what a shark sounds like when it gets abused but here it's just like Arr. I'm pretty sure sharks don't do that whales make a call but sharks just kind of you know violently tear at your skin oh here we go okay so what are you Oh, another zooplankton they're just getting bigger I mean on the plus side I'm starting to eat something with some color so hopefully that means this is better for me, okay? It's got some, uh, different vitamins in it. Vitamin S for sadness. Oh, there, again! Right there! The next creature in Star- in Star Trek. I'm pretty sure that's one of the living vessels in No Man's Sky or something. I'm almost certain. Oh, we're millimeters in size! Oh, we just went up to centimeters! See how quickly things are starting to move? <laughs> Alright, I've been- I've been eating zooplankton for millennia over here. I, I wanna, I wanna finally dine on something different. I have a feeling I'm not going to be eating, you know, like carp or mahi-mahi anytime soon, but whatever, whatever that, that thing over there from, uh, you know, a John Carpenter movie, this right here, whatever that is, I'll eat it. Oh, it's a crow. Oh my god. <laughs> is that a shrimp? <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the old blue whale-sized shrimp. I love it. All right, so two centimeters in size, moving on to three centimeters in size here in just a second. I'm like one half the size of the shrimp. 
It's probably not even a shrimp. It's probably something else. I vastly overestimate how big I am. The fact is I'm still the size of someone's thumbnail. Thumbnail-sized shark. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, now I can now I can really tear them up. The shrimp are like, hey, leave some for us. You won't be here for very much longer, so don't worry about whether or not you're getting dinner tonight. Once we get to like 10 centimeters, I'm pretty sure at that point we can start eating the shrimp. Maybe like prawns or something. Maybe prawns are shrimp. I really don't know. This is one of those things where only when I'm destroying the entirety of life do I realize how little I know about true science? See, by murdering everyone, I'm actually participating in an intellectual study. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. And a prawn. Okay, so it was a prawn. Oh yeah, that's like a centimeter per prawn. Come here. I'm hungry and you guys fit in my mouth. 10 centimeters. All of the prawn. Oh, so now there's real fish. It's like minnow or something. Oh, am I in the ice? Oh, there, there's penguins. Oh, I am going to feel so bad murdering all of the penguins. I love penguins. I had the opportunity to hug a penguin. Well, not just the opportunity. I did indeed hug a penguin. The penguin's name was Elvis. I didn't name the penguin. The penguin didn't really much mind either. It was kind of a derpy penguin. His job was mainly to stand around and look awesome. Ow! God, the little, little fish get kind of angry when you mess with their families. Oh, never mind. Now I'm the one that's angry. Oh, there's just fish. They don't even have a subtype. It's just fish. Oh, we're eating all the fish. I hope no one else is gonna eat you guys. Well, probably the penguins. I am getting concerned. We are getting to penguin size, and that makes me kind of sad. Oh, they're jumping off of the ice. So if I position myself correctly, they can jump right into my mouth. I won't even have to do any F, like any work or anything. Okay, I'm eating you penguins last, so don't don't go anywhere. And it's not it's not because I see that one right there. I could if I Oh no! Oh god. Oh, there we go. <laughs> here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh, there's a human skull or something there. They all just jump into my mouth. This is great. Someone was scuba diving or something. Okay, so now get all the puffins and the penguins. Oh, the sound of a freshly eaten penguin is so concerning. There goes a diving helmet. <laughs> the remnants of humanity. Oh, this is this is awful. Oh, there's polar bears. I get to eat the polar bears. Those are narwhals. I love that all of the animal kingdom has positioned itself so perfectly for me to eat it. Like it goes in order of size and everything. Now hold on, narwhals. You guys are supposed to be below the polar bears so that gray still plays can eat you. Also, I don't feel that bad anymore because the polar bears are eating the penguins too. So I'm not the worst person in the world. Oh God. Oh, there goes all the polar bears. Did you hear the sound? <laughs> I'm not the worst person anymore. I feel so bad for the penguins. There's just, they never got any of the fish. They weren't violent at all. They, they basically just sat there and did nothing except for jump into my mouth. Look, right there. That was that one penguin's entire fun for the day. He got to ride down the iceberg and he ran right into my mouth. There's all the helicopters. All the helicopters are like, all right, we're coming over here to uh, check out the penguin population today. Oh my God, there's no penguins left. Come here, narwhal. Oh, the narwhal, there it is. And a walrus. I think it's actually narwhal and not narwhale. But I could have, I think it may be a member of the whale family. You know what? Hold on. Hey, Google, is a narwhal a whale? National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. A narwhal is a medium sized toothed whale that is only found in Arctic waters. Oh, there you go. At, whoa, there was a. <laughs> I just realized there was like a school of 30 walrus next to me. Oh, eating some squids down here too, the giant squids. Yes, that's right, you squids have terrorized mankind, but now I am the one who gets to terrorize mankind. Those whales over there too, and the whales are very angry. I'll remember that, whales. Oh, can grab the helicopters over here. There we go, all the scientists trying to, there's a pirate ship. All the scientists trying to check on their aquatic friends only to get eaten by a 12 meter long shark that can jump 600 feet out of the water. Oh, I can eat whales now. Sperm whales. There's like 30 of them right there, all gone. All the whales are gone. All the squids, all the whales. 
All the helicopters. I appreciate that I'm getting a nice diet. Oh, I ate an, an entire iceberg. I'm getting a nice diet of meat and iron and tetanus and I guess oil and gasoline. Those entire, entire airliners going over the Arctic Circle over here. Yeah, this is what you get for having vacations. I'll be eating all you guys in a minute. There goes the icebergs. We are 33 meters at this point. Is there anything bigger than the sperm whales down here? Because I've, I've eaten a lot of sperm whales. I'm looking, I want something even larger. Where's like the megalodons or something? I mean, I guess technically I'm the megalodon now. I'm 40 meters long. Did I say 40? I meant 57. Can I eat a plane yet? Yep. <laughs> Jumbo jet plane. Hold on. And got him. 80 meters! For some reason, there's tiny little icebergs that just, that kind of just wash into view every once in a while. Oh, I hit the pirate ship! What is that? What, what is this dolphin? That is not a normal dolphin that a human might see. The dolphin is over 100 meters long. The goldfish is really big too. Okay, I need to eat a lot more planes. Ow! To go up against the goldfish and this hyper, this hyper dolphin, this dolphin that's been eating steroids non-stop for the last 200 years. Is there anything else down here I can eat? No, I've reached the bottom of the ocean. More icebergs. Like an oil drilling rig over there too. See, technically I'm saving the environment by, by murdering the oil drilling rig. There it goes. Oil platform, gone. I wanna know what this dolphin and this goldfish are called. Probably just like Joe or something, but I hope they have like a really cool name, like Cosmic Dolphin or something. Something befitting their enormous size. I also love the the little eye glance that the shark does when it sees something coming. It's like, oh God. 187 meters, we're eating oil tankers now. Oh, I can eat him. Get wrecked, gold. Oh, it's just a normal goldfish. <laughs> just a normal. Dolphin, that is not what dolphins look like. Dolphins are not 200 meters long. They can eat all of SeaWorld. They were 280 meters long. Dolphins wouldn't be performing for people. People would be performing for the dolphins. All right, what's next? I'm getting really big here. I'm like 313 meters right now. Okay, keep eating all of this. When I jump, I jump. Oh, what is this? What is that? It's the crust of the earth! Oh no! <laughs> God! <laughs> 500 meters! When you see a shark that is eating itself to the core of the earth, that's when you know things have gone very, very wrong. I am two kilometers in size. Am I eating just lava? Oh, it's the mantle! Oh yeah, it tastes like hot Cheetos. That is delicious. Mm. 10 kilometers in 13 kilometers. 20 kilometers. What did that shark just say? Just now? I'm pretty sure that shark said something. Did he say faster? Can't tell me what to do, shark. Oh, I mean, I guess he can, because he's now, you know, like the largest living creature on earth by a lot. He's he's a, a hundred kilometers in size. And honestly, you do whatever the shark tells you to at this point. Because if you don't, you might not have a place to live soon. I am now, I am now, it's like a pizza. The earth is just a giant pizza to me. And I am, and I am licking up all the sauce, okay? The pizza sauce is going, man. Okay, so we got Earth's mantle, Earth's outer core. Okay, hold on, let me let me grab the entirety of the outside of the mantle here. Yeah! Uh, I wanna make sure I can get every little bit of the Earth. I, I really don't, I would hate to go hungry over here. We are now 3.9 megameters in size. Okay, so, so you have the outer core, and then the inner core, I'm guessing? Oh, it's still outer core. Well, oh, I think that's the main core there. Hold on, I wanna save that for last. It's like the cherry on top. Make sure I eat everything else like that. Hold on, don't. Oh no, I got it! <laughs> oh, an Earth chunk! It's just called an Earth chunk. Oh, the moon's trying to get away because it has no more orbit. I love it. An Earth chunk. They didn't really even know what to call it. Nano shark ate too much. There's just a penguin on a piece of iceberg out in space. It should have stopped eating when we flipped the failsafe switch. Why didn't the failsafe work? It chewed through the wire. Well, the shark ate too much, and now it's going to go vomit the entirety of mankind across the cosmos. Hey, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Tasty Blue. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.